Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to do something a little bit different than usual, and I'm actually going to show you how to color calibrate a monitor. Now, I'm using the Datacolor Spider X Pro that I have, and I know that there are different um, color calibration systems out on the market. This one usually goes on sale for pretty cheap, um, and the nice thing is a bunch of people can pitch in and buy one of them and then just share it between them. I often lend this one out to other people that need to use it, and I thought that I would just introduce you to the process of color calibrating one of your monitors and just show you how I do it with this one. Now, first things first, with most of these, you do have to head to a website and download an application. So I'm here on the Data Color website. I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to the Spider X Pro and download the Windows software. We're going to go ahead and install that. Now, while that's installing, we're going to go ahead and pull out our color calibrator. This is what it looks like, a uh, big long USB cable, and that's really all you need. Sometimes they will have a serial code that you'll want to keep uh, out for when you finish installing your program, so keep that available to you. And this is what it looks like. You usually get a pretty long USB cable. Um, this one is plenty, plenty long. Uh, you know, it'll reach from my monitor to my computer, no problem. And usually the applications will actually walk you through the process of setting up the calibrator. So we're gonna make sure our calibrator is plugged into the USB port. We're not gonna set it up just yet. We're gonna go ahead and click next. It should recognize my calibrator. It's gonna ask for my serial code. All right, so now that we got the software actually starting, give it a few seconds, and we're gonna go through the startup process here. So unfortunately, my lights are extremely intense, so we're gonna have to turn these off while doing the color calibration. Um, but we're, we've already done our warm up. We are going to check our lighting conditions and turn all of them off. We're gonna have to reset our monitor to default settings and we will do that. And we will have the spider connection done as well. So it is a desktop monitor. And I am using the Dell, and it is the D, or the S2721 DGF. I think we have a standard LED. We're going to do a full calibration. All right, we're gonna have to turn off our lights. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead, change our monitor to default color settings. And we're gonna go ahead and place our calibrator on the display. And once we click next, it is going to start the calibration process. So now it's telling us we have to adjust the brightness until the indicator is in the middle. So we are a little bit too high in terms of brightness. Just a little bit too bright. Try 40%. It's 122. 115, too low. 120, right on the dot. So we can go ahead and close that up. And now we can continue.
All right. So now that that's done, it's gonna have us save a new profile and you can set up calibration reminders. Now, they say that you should do it once a month. I think that's a little bit too much, honestly, unless you're doing super color accurate work all the time. Um, and honestly, calibrating a monitor, you don't really need to do with a lot of them nowadays because they do come pretty well calibrated right out of the factory. But if you're doing super color accurate work, once a month is probably a good idea. If you're not, I usually only do it maybe once every six months, once a year. Usually when I do like my full cleanup of my computer, I take it apart, dust everything out. I'll usually calibrate my monitor too. And now if you really want to, you can go ahead and you can use this to um, take a look and, you know, preview the new display. Um, we're hitting 100% of sRGB, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so that is awesome. And we're basically all done. Now again, most people are not going to have to calibrate their monitors. Most monitors are pretty well calibrated out of the factory. If you want to check how well your monitor is typically calibrated out of the factory, you could check uh, Artings. They do some really great reviews. They do a lot of color work. And they do a pre-calibration and a post-calibration color rating, which is awesome. Um, but if you do want to do more color accurate work, if you're editing photos or editing a lot of videos, these are usually a relatively inexpensive thing to do. And like I said, if you have a group or, you know, maybe you have a bunch of friends that do photos, you can all pitch in, pick up one of these when they're on sale. I picked this up for 130 Canadian, uh, during Black Friday, but it often goes on sale quite often. And you can go ahead and pitch in together, you know, everybody can throw in 20 to 30 bucks. You can get one of these and it really does improve everything. You can use it on desktops, you can use it on laptops. Super awesome tool to have. And, you know, now you just kind of know how color calibration works. Even if you don't have one yourself and you were just interested, you've kind of seen the process. Now, I hope you found this video interesting or helpful. And if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Step Back, Thought Slime, and Rojo Son of Dojo, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you want some suggestions on how to choose a monitor, I've got a video right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.